cementing their reputation. Alright, I just want to say I'm thankful for TubeBuddy for giving me this certificate. I kind of like it. I don't care if it's minor or major or not. I still like it, but anyway, I would like to continue with the video about the Buckingham Pyro I upload today. But anyway, thank you TubeBuddy for giving me this, and I will make sure to buy it, and I'll see you later. What is going on, YouTube? It is like freaking 6 o'clock in the morning. But, um... Anyway, I woke up early just to introduce the Buckingham Pyro. Um, you know what? Let, well, you know what? Let's have a look at it. Let's have a let's have a decent look at it. Anyway, I haven't done the supply missions to actually do it yet. The trade price is three point three million or three point three five hundred k or fifty k and four point four million, basically. But um, anyway, for the buy it now, it's like a million dollars more expensive. You have to do 33 freight air missions. So, anyway, what I, what, I, what I wanted to talk about is, it seems like it is going in order. So, basically, next going to be the Sea Breeze. And then next after that is going to be any other plane. But anyway, discussing that, um, there few things that are discounted prices actually to be honest with you. The ultralight is discounted by hundred and twenty five K, which is actually not bad and it's only three hundred K now, so if you want to have one with your ultra light ultra light, time is now just to buy one. It's not that expensive either. It's pretty cheap, pretty cheap. And if you go back on war stock you will see that the rocket voltage is on sale as well for 700k down, somewhere around there. 640k down, somewhere around, the, around those prices. But that might be mostly about it because there's nothing I can really find for Legendary Motor Sports. Um, Southern Auto, there's nothing really there. No. Maybe there's discount prices on NSD. Maybe. Yeah, it's nothing, really, it's nothing really too new. But anyway, um, that's really all I wanted to share with you guys today about the Buckingham Pyro. That is about it. But, you know what? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I want to talk about one more thing. The Buckingham Pyro actually looks not bad. As you can see, like, on, as the same jet engine in the back as the Hydra or the P9 or P900 or 966. Not 966, no, nine, 996, sorry. And, um, the plane looks okay in style, but the little back part of it might actually bother me because something could crash into it and then eventually leading on to your plane falling down. I don't know how armored it is yet. The plane seems pretty cool. It might be worth $3 million, it might not be. You, That is your job to figure out. But, um, anyway, but, uh, yeah, that's about it. But the plane looks actually not bad, guys. I'm not going to lie. The plane actually looks not bad. But, anyway, I would like to see you all later, and hopefully, I don't know, maybe you'll buy this plane, maybe you're not. But, if you think it looks cool, it looks look cool. The title, I like it, the Pyro. That sounds so majestic. But we know the Legendary, you know the Sea Breeze is coming out, and we know the Dakota and the Hunter is coming out like, next week. Next week is the Sea Breeze, which is the 17th, and the 24th is going to be Nakoda, and then the November, or not November 3rd, November 1st, I'm sorry, is the Hunter. So that's going to lead all the way to November, but hopefully the Vigilante comes out sometime around then. I don't know when it's going to come out, but you know what, that's basically about it, and hopefully I see you all later, and...